Alright guys, um, in this video I'll be talking about CPUs, um, I just got my delivery today from FedEx, uh, as you can see here, um, 9450 quad core, um, sadly, uh, I missed my UPS delivery, which is my case hard drive, and I got this stupid notice, so, gotta wait till Monday before I can make, um, the rest of the gaming rig parts so just stay in tune but I'll be talking about CPU today um, as we're moving on um, the technology is advancing so you want to get quad core instead of dual core um, and you can get a decent cheap quad core for 220 so that's really good just look up um, quad 6600 and I know a lot of people are using that already but then it's still decent um, this CPU is new technology it's 45 nanometer um, compared to Q6600 65 nanometer so this CPU runs cooler and it runs faster now um, this CPU is one of the three series the 9300 and 9550 this is the middle range one um, the only difference between is the level 2 cache and the multiplier the 9300 runs on 7.5 multiplier so you don't want to get that and it only got 6 megabyte level 2 so that's really inconvenient so don't get it um, 94.50 is decent and 95.50 is better and it all runs on 95 watt and it's socket 775 so it supports many of the new motherboards um, this one got default speed of 2.66 gigahertz and it's really overclockable so I can get this up to 3.8, 3.7 easy and considering that I'm in California and it's really hot here if you're in like more cooler places then I think you can get these up to 4.2, 4.1 gigahertz easy with air and if you're going water cooling then you can go even higher but then you do need good RAM and good motherboard in order to support this. Alright, thanks. Stay tuned for more videos and this is user review.